Hi loves, welcome back, I'm Coach Kara. So today we're here with another relationship topic and this one is going to be a big one for a lot of people. So yeah, we're talking about how sex can affect your relationship. All right, so I'm quite sure many of you, if you've been dating for a while and have had, you know, several relationships, you, you may know exactly what I speak of. So when I say that, how, you know, having sexual intercourse way early in the relationship is going to ultimately affect your connection, it will people, it, it really will, it really, it, it will, and it can. And, and the reason why that is, is because as humans, we are so anxious to feel good, you know, to have our, not just hormones, but everything within us on a heightened level. We want that feel good feeling. So it's always anticipated when you meet someone, you know, especially if they are very attractive and they're giving off that sexual energy, those vibes, as are you. In your head, in your mind, you began to dream or fantasize about what it would be like to kiss this person all because you are waiting to feel good and that is how everything goes to crap right there that level of thinking you know i was watching a reality show the other day and the girl's like oh my god i can't wait for him to kiss me why won't he kiss me i'm just waiting because you're just waiting to feel good that is an issue that is indicative that there has been some underlying trauma, still present, pain, hurt, that is still quite present, okay? And when that is, when it's like that, you're, you, it needs to be pampered. You need to feel as though you need to be pampered. You're looking for a feel good. And this is what most people do. Because the average human on this planet it has been traumatized in some way. Most people are coming out of relationships when you meet them months ago, still unhealed, as are you. Or you've been out of a serious relationship for quite some time and you still haven't gotten over it. So when you meet someone, as humans, we expect to feel good. You, you, you look for that human touch, right? Versus, okay, Taking your mind in a whole other direction. Saying, what is it that I can learn from this person? What is this new connection going to teach me? And, and let that be the driving force behind this new bond that you're about to create. You know, what more am I going to get out of this connection? See, when you automatically go into a situation to feel good, that's what your expectations are going to be. And then what and then what is that connection going to be based upon trying to always feel good so you're going to forever find yourself in this vicious cycle the both of you chasing this feel good high you know it's just like you know you're going to go to a comedy show the expectation is already to laugh and to simply what feel good right yeah so you want to feel that from the time you walk, walk through that door that high until you leave and even maybe thereafter and that's what it's like when you go into a new situation. You're always going to expect to be on that high. So what happens when you actually get together, you start learning each other. And as I always say, the more you know about someone, the more you learn about a person, you're going to either like them more or less. So if you've had feeling good on your mind, sex, I can't wait to smash. I can't oh, wait till we get to, I can't wait till we do that. Okay. And then once that happens, now what? Did you have plans for anything else? Okay, I want to make love to them and then I want to take them to Paris. I, I want to sleep with this person and then I want to make them my everything. Like, come on, just think about it. What is the usual process of when you sleep together? I don't care if it's within a few days, few weeks, few months. The anticipation has been building, so that's what you've been working towards versus saying, okay, I want to put my energy in trying to learn this person. All right, what am I going to do differently than I did, you know, in those past situations? Hmm? But see, when you don't 
you know, date with a purpose, like true intentions and a purpose, you find yourself in a vicious cycle of nothingness. And then, so now that you've slept with this individual and you guys have done whatever it is that you wanted to get out of your systems repeatedly, after some time, you know, after a few times, actually, for most people, especially if it's just like, oh, okay, sex, you know, you've had better, you can get it better someplace else. The thrill is, is gone or it's fading. So what are you going to try to do to, to get that person to actually be into you now, to actually like you? What can you do to do that? It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a whole lot of, well, I'll buy you this or no, no, no. And, and don't worry about it. I got you. It's going to take a whole lot of trying to convince this person to be with you. Because now that you've shown them that all that you had versus them being able to see the true you, your, you know, your whole as a being to learn you, to learn the creative side of you, the intellectual side of you. Yeah, you shown them what made both of you feel good, all right? And so now that's what all that is based on. So if you've been in connections and they've all failed because of sex, this is why. People even still try to get married, have a lifelong relationship, and it's all been based upon sex. And then they wonder why there's cheating, you know, lies, infidelity, distrust, all of that going on is because of what you were feeling and thinking in the beginning. Sex from the very beginning ruined, it destroyed your connection before it could even begin. Now, I know many of you, especially if you date actively or you don't, you don't really date with a purpose, you know what I'm talking about. You've been with that person and you know it's a heavy flirting, the whole vibe is there, you're crushing on each other, and then it happens, all right? And then that contact begins to diminish, but you hook back up and you do it again, all right? Someone gets nervous and anxious because they feel like this person is trying to get away with them. They got what they wanted and then so forth. Now you find yourself chasing this individual. One person is trying to run away because they got what they wanted and becomes a chaser runner situation. Yeah, now you're trying to make this person like you. Oh, no, no, but wait, wait, come back. I want you to like me for who I am. I want you to see me for who I am. No, you've already showed me what you are. Because see, here's the reality of it. Once people typically get, as humans, once we usually get what it is that we've been wanting, what we've been seeking, we get that at least a couple times, we're satisfied. Like it's a rarity where you can find someone who wants to eat steak two to three times back to back. <laughs> Unless you're just a heavy steak lo lover. I feel so sorry for your guts. But it's a rarity when that happens. So you, you didn't give this person anything else to feed on. You didn't give them laughs and make them, you know, make them want to stay on your mind, that sort of thing. You didn't give them, you know, an emotional connection. You didn't give them a whole lot of that. And if you did, it wasn't enough to keep them. You understand? It's just something they can get from someone else. So now you're losing yourself in a person. You're giving yourself away. You, 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 you've lost that whole respect factor and, and things have changed the dynamic has changed once that happened it does people begin to think of you differently especially if it's like less than two weeks less than a month what is a person to think of you okay so you're definitely not going to have that whole respect factor there because it wasn't built on anything substantial you understand all right, so sex can definitely have a major impact on your connections. Look, if that's been your downfall from the beginning, let that person know right up. I'm not interested in doing that, at least not until we get to learn each other. And if they're not going to give you what it is that you're seeking, well, then, hey, that's that said. You already know what they're looking for, okay? So if you're wondering why your, your relationship that you've been in it for over a year has never really quite worked, well, then that's probably why. You didn't give them anything to build up on, a relation to build a found a solid foundation for, towards, all right? Just trust me, guys. Sex is never conducive to having a great relationship. You may have a great bedroom and sex life, but it stops right there typically, all right? It's a rarity where you can get both. 
and they're both high functioning and you can get everything you want from this person. It's rare. I mean, it happens. But today, <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, you're either going to get one or the other. And typically in a relationship, those still don't work out because people are so damaged and they're not taking the time out to heal themselves. Well, even before they sleep with someone, you know, and you may say, oh, I just want to sleep around. I don't want anything serious. I'm not looking for a relationship. But then you have a sexual relationship. How good do you feel now? Hmm? Okay, you you scream orgasm or whatever, but how do you feel? How do you really feel? Do you still feel good? Do you feel good about yourself? Think about that, okay? All right, my loves, I just wanted to share that with you all. Uh, yeah, if you're having this sort of issue or you need further dating coaching, all of my information will be linked down below. I thank you all for joining me. That is all for now. Until next time.